So they'll be calling you a radical. So I'm going to tell you what I know, and I'm working the shit out of this right now. So let's go over this. This is uh, collective uh, news sources from inside the Ukraine, or excuse me, I think in Belarus. Uh, and so let's let's review what's going on. First, before we review this and what we know, this is, look, this is unarguable, a small little nuclear reactor. You could sit and weapon test all you want. The fucking lies, the cover-up. We don't have Igor flying in with a helicopter and taking a picture this time. We don't have the two, you know, people standing up with integrity scientists that Chernobyl had. We don't have that. You know, maybe we do, but in the United States, we have Trump, who's on Putin's leash. We have uh, mainstream media, which is on Putin's leash, which is a fucking pathetic fucking go along with a nuclear energy winning team. We have alternative media, which is pathetic as hell. We have YouTube, which has been hijacked by radio gaga blah 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 fucking spin doctors. So here's what. Before I review this, I want to first address the G fucking nightmare. So Culp has come out and thrown a fit. Well, what the hairsprayed fucker supposed to say? piece of shit. So Drunken Miller, that piece of dog shit. By the way, I've got a hunch the New York City DA, the same one that went after Epstein, is going to have that Drunken Miller fuckhead in handcuffs. And if I was Joe Kernan, Marita Bataroma, fucking Kramer, I'd be shivering my timbers right now. Because I'll tell you what, you think these fucking rats, she's going to get them. The General Electric is the Jeffrey Epstein of New York City Wall Street. Everybody in New York. I, I, I worked on Wall Street. I was there. We've been screaming about Epstein for fucking decades. Everybody knew. But they bowed a wealth. You know? GE is the Jeffrey Epstein of Wall Street. CNBC is the Jeffrey Epstein of... They're the, they're the Maxwell. I mean, they owned them. <laughs> She's going to take them down. I'm here to fucking tell you. Culp and these fuckers... I mean, if I was Jeffrey Melding and his two fucking Learjets, I mean... I'd be fucking hiding in the bunker next to fucking her, you know, Maxwell fucking. So this is what we know. So I'm not even going to butcher his name. An official from Sarvo. A closed nuclear research city overseen by Rostam carries the power source involved in the explosions as a single nuclear reactor. The Moscow Times reported. Russian statement about the intensive radiation from been equally contradictory. Scientists with the Russian Federation Nuclear Agency said on Sunday that the radiation had climbed nearly to twice the background level in the city, and I'm not going to pronounce it, about 40 kilometers from the test site. But on Tuesday, Russian National Meteorology Agency reported radiation had risen last week to 16 times to the norm in the city. No reports indicate a level in, I won't pronounce the city, which is located on the edge of the test range. Putin's spokesman discussed that accident public for the first time up to say that all agents are in compliant, the situation are supported, the completely safety of the Russian citizens. A regional news site Northern News reported that doctors in a civilian hospital in the largest city in the region who first treated victims of the accident had not been informed of radiation danger. After treating the patients, the doctors at the regional clinic hospital found that their scrubs were causing radiation meters to click, the site reported. The patients were taken to Moscow and the rooms were they had lane were sealed later, said the report. The doctors were also transferred to the capital of medical evacuation, evaluations. All medical personnel who treated victims of the accident, this reported site, have been made to sign non-disclosure statements. That's exactly to a fine science T. Chernobyl. This is a fucking Chernobyl cover-up, and we don't have Ted Cobb. You have me. So, okay, I got different activists working this. People that are trying to come to you, but let's remember, after the State Secrets Act got passed, Barack Obama pulled that, and then the handoff between Obama to Trump, and 
the Trump Abby 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 fucking love affair. You know, Putin's fucking. Oh my God, two bitches on a leash. The fucking nuclear crime syndicate. This country bows to the nuclear energy. The nuclear energy crime syndicate. Gee, Chicago Bridge and Iron fucking. I mean, they are the fucking Jeffrey Epstein. Everybody knows what they're fucking doing, but you're everybody's in the wants or want to be in the fucking club. We got one fucking hope on this fucking thing. You know, you're looking at him. The prosecutor in New York, I got back to G, I got news. If I was Joe Kernan, Marita Butteroma, Kramer, all these fucking boot licking whores. I've been screaming about, remember I was on Wall Street. I want to say this. We all knew Madoff was doing it. I was a derivative arbitrage specialist. I was a good one too. You know, I came home to fucking take over Dr. Cooley's fucking program like a stupid fucker. I got conned into it and then I got leukemia. It's a long, complicated story, but it's fraud that they did to me. Fucking annihilated me because I'm an anti nuker I knew the Madoff. Look, I was a derivative arbitrage specialist. I used to say all the time, look, if this guy's fucking hedging this... All he was simply doing is saying exactly what I did. All I did was buy puts on high dividend yield fucking stocks and roll the fucking derivative. That's all I did. It wasn't that complicated. I mean, I did it Philip Moore. I did it all these high dividend yield stocks. I managed... I says, for him to be fucking doing this sums of money and this quality, he would push the derivative fucking pricing fucking range just by the fact of buying them. There's, n there's not this many derivatives that exist. The CBOE doesn't write this many. I'll tell you, I did so many derivatives fucking in the 90s, whatever, and I, I would call the CBOE. Say, yes, Mr. Blanche, they knew my voice. What would you like today? I'd say, well, write me some uh, calls on... Palm Pilot. What do you? What was strike in what month? Uh, give me some Julys, two twenties. You know, you know. Yes, thank you, Miss. Next day they were there. That's the kind of cloud I carried. No good deed goes unpunished. That's my medical alert bracelet. By the way, Madoff's fucking son died of ML leukemia. The other hung himself. You go ahead and catch this falling nuclear fucking knife. And if you think this G story and this fucking 8-8 eight, eight fucking little nuclear story are not the same story, you're a stupid fucker. G is the nuclear energy crime syndicate. We got one hope on this. This prosecutor, this fucking new DA in fucking New York City, she fucking goes after fucking CNBC. These boot licking fucking whores, drunken Miller, fuck you. Thank you, Henry. I know Henry. He's a fucking national treasure. And if you don't think, <laughs> he was screaming Madoff way back then too, just like I, we would scream that fucking lipstick building's a bunch of fraud over there. We knew. Fuck. That's back before they gutted Wall Street. That's before they turned it into the computer fraud show. And that was Bush's doing. Snow's fucking doing. Did that. Fucking Bush, Obama, Trump. Fuck the death of this country. The nuclear fucking bitches on a leash. These three fucking monsters deregged and fuck out. You ain't seen nothing yet. Go ahead, catch this falling nuclear knife. I like these stupid... There's a billionaire in Irvine Cove that fucking... When this thing crashed, started averaging... I think he's averaged in at fucking $14 a share. And everybody's like, oh, he's a multi-billionaire. He's one of the... I says, he's one of... <laughs> he's one dumb fucking billionaire. You know, what is it? Eight? <laughs> 88? Kill Gorbachev's 88. Freedom Eisenblower on the 200th anniversary of Waterloo. And by the way... I'll be in Austria. I'll be in Vienna next month. You know, thank you to the small people that have supported this grassroots activist. And, you know, I'm, I don't know how I've done it. You know, thank you. Our small team, the post-ignorance army. So I'll be in Vienna because they're all going to meet there. And SMRs are weapons of mass destruction. Nuclear reactors are weapons of mass destruction. And this ICANN, Greenpeace, Sierra Club, these Kool-Aid friends of the earth, these pieces of shit plowshares who drink this Kool-Aid, do interviews all over and says, oh, we're okay with the technology. We like nuclear fucking energy, but we don't like nuclear. You stupid, dumb fuckers. Sell out whores. Go give them your money. Nuclear fucking bombs and nuclear energy is the exact same thing. This proves it. Again, let me get to this. This is all I need to see. 
I know what SMRs are. They're being funded here in Utah. By the way, the arms fucking race. I mean, they're testing them right there at Idaho. That's the room I was given two months to live in right there with ammo leukemia, one of the bone marrow transplant on 1111. Just Google Rakata Iki if you want to know the whole story of Fukushima. After treating the patients, the doctors at the regional clinic hospital found that their scrubs were causing radiation meters to click. The site reported the patients were taken to Moscow and the rooms where they had laid, where had lain were sealed. Later said the report the doctors were transferred to the capital for medical evaluations. All medical personnel who treated victims of the accident, the site reported, had been made to sign non-disclosure argument. This is this is Chernobyl. This is the second worst nuclear disaster in world history. This is bigger than Chernobyl, I think, because I know what these little nuclear reactors are. I know how powerful they are. This is a nuclear reactor. That's been verified because we know the tracer elements. That tracer element, this is not a missile test. This is, not, this is a nuclear reactor is blown. This is Chernobyl. Huh. The evacuations, there's all kinds of rumors. You know, I'll stay on it. What a lonely battle I have. Stan Tunage.